What's up, everybody? Big Herc, 916. And you tune in to another edition of my vlog. I want to say thank you for subscribing. Thanks for all the support. You know, I'm all about the positivity and the motivation. And um, I try to put out as much positive content as possible, sometimes entertaining. You know, uh, I try to be funny at times. You know, talk about putting the hammer down, busting cheeks, you know, um, some life lessons. But at the end of the day, uh, I try to share things that will make you think about life and maybe make uh, better choices than what I did. I try to stay transparent as possible. I don't proclaim to be perfect. Yeah, I robbed banks. Yeah, I did porn, you know, um, and I'm here. I paid for whatever crimes I committed. But yet, if I put out a message that talks about people coming together or people sharing, you know, someone wants to say something to the point where well who are you to be trying to tell us to come together and we're not all the same underneath and blah 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 and uh you know i know it's not really worth addressing but i felt that i had to speak on it because majority of the populace is so ignorant when it comes to enhancing their uh their minds or looking beyond just because you were taught one thing doesn't mean that you're stuck thinking that way for the rest of your life you know, you have the the choice to change your mind. Just because somebody maybe did something in their past doesn't mean that they can't now be somebody who's positive, who's trying to help others. And to judge someone on things is beyond what you should look at when it comes to whatever the message that's being laid out. Now, if the message is 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 convoluted if it's if it's full of a lot of uh contradictions then okay you know you have to question the person and what their motives are you know if a person is sitting there and they're they're telling you not to do this and that but yet they're sleeping with somebody's wife or they're um manipulating um um the group or whatever the case may be then they they have their own agenda but uh, all i feel like I was here to do as far as on this channel is put out conversations from the heart that can possibly help you make better choices than I did. Cause I made a lot of uh, effed up choices, you know? And having went through these things, I didn't have a mentor. And I used to wish that, man, I wish I, I would have learned a lot of these things on the street. I wish somebody would have told me some of these things before I got locked up and, and gave me some insight. I mean, everything from history to just um, um, culture, um, you know, being a man, a lot of things I learned from people behind the wall. And uh, it's, it's not a place you should have to go to learn stuff. You know, I, I learned a lot of good things on the street too, but um, like my big mentoring came from OGs in the pen. And, um, you know, I, I just try to pass along things that are eye awakening. You know, a lot of people like to stay asleep. They don't care about, you know, what's going on or, or even entertain things that are beyond what they can see. Uh, most people are so high most of the time anyways, or they're so caught up on what um, so-and-so is doing that they pay a little attention to building themselves. And one of the things I try to do on a daily is build myself and and just be honest with myself and not lie about who I am. And uh, when I put these videos out, be as transparent as possible. Um, you know, if somebody mentioned about, hey man, you know, you just talk about your, your your cars and this and that, man. I don't. My cars ain't nothing compared to a lot of people on the internet. I mean, I have some used cars that I drive and I try to enjoy life. And, uh, you know, that was one of the biggest pleasures I fantasized about when I was in prison was getting out, uh, you know, being able to bust some female cheeks and drive a car. And so that's what I'm doing. But it's not like I try to get something that's just, I, I get what whatever I can play in my lane with, put it that way. But, um, you know, beyond that, man, the message as far as just people, humanity, um, sharing, it's a message that is meant to be uplifting, not putting people down. I don't, you know, get off on 
talk and mess about other people or trying to knock down the next person to make myself feel better or trying to, you know, oh man, I got this, so you're not that. I mean, because just because somebody drives a Bugatti or, or some expensive car, you know, it doesn't mean that they're any better than you. It just means that maybe they had uh, uh, an opportunity that presented itself or they had somebody that, that, that opened a door for them. I mean, I've seen people go from nothing to blowing up when the right person gives them the, the, the opportunity. So, you know, opportunity is, is the main thing that changes the game, but it doesn't mean you're better than somebody because you have an AP or you have all this jewelry on. You don't know what the person did to get that stuff. So at the end of the day, you got to ask yourself is, you know, whoever it is you're worshiping or you're idolizing, is that who you want to be? You meet that person, you sit down and have a conversation with them, you realize that they're a piece of shit. You know, or maybe they're not a piece of shit. You know, maybe they're really humble. But, you know, you catch me in public, I'm the same person, man. I'm not trying to pretend to be somebody on my YouTube channel or on Fresh Out. And then you see me in person, and I'm this totally other person. I'm the same person, man. I, I'm out here grinding like everybody else. I'm, you know, trying to figure out the, the right path and, and just uh, really enjoy life and appreciate the little things. And it's times like this that you really start looking at what the big picture of life is and what you've been putting your energy into and if it's the right direction you know so uh some of the videos i, I put out i just try to tell people hey man peep out you know peep out the game you know do you know where money comes from do you know what the money system is about do you have you thought about you know what's really some of the signs and symbols around you you know people just look at stuff and they take it at face value but i, I do your homework you know, and then at the end of the day, too, just, you know, gather around loved ones and not judge somebody by the color of skin. I've been guilty of it in certain circumstances, looking at things from a blind perspective. But I've, you know, had to kind of go back and eat my own words because some of those people have been the same people who have helped me get to where I'm at now. You know, people I didn't think that had any uh, value actually ended up being the most valuable. So, you know you don't know who's propagating a lot of stuff to get us to hate each other to dislike each other to turn on each other i mean what's their agenda is is it it's divide and conquer that's what they do in the penitentiaries that's what a lot of these guys who talk about they're all these high powered you know uh uh gang members this and that is hate and that's not the answer man hate doesn't get you anything but death so you know you, you yeah you can't embrace everybody because there's a lot of uh people who are who are uh who are infiltrators but you gotta you know be able to decipher who's who and have you know the right people around you but all i'm saying is that wake up and and and, and uh you know don't judge the messenger you know I, i'm my life a lot of things that happen if i can go back and change them I probably would, you know, I would try some other things different, but who knows where that path would take me down. You know, I'm fortunate to be alive today because I put my life in circumstances where I shouldn't be here. I, I, I should have been, um, there's multiple times I, I should have been shot. I should have been, you know, maybe six feet in the ground, but I'm not. And I got to look at that as like, you know, there's a bigger life lesson. And like I said, I'm not perfect. I don't claim to be. I'm not like these guys who parade around and who talk all this stuff, but then they, they got all kind of stuff in their closet. My closet's on the internet, man. I mean, everything I've done from the robberies to the porn to whatever else I've done, hustling in the street, it's all out there. I, I put it in my books, you know what I mean? I don't hide who I am. Like a lot of people in the closet, they act like they're all this and that, but then, you know, she was a hoe in college or he was a, a cold weenie, you know, in his past life. Now he's this buff guy and he wants to be tough, an alpha male, but he's really a docile little, you know, chihuahua, you know, hey man, be who you are, but don't judge the messenger. You can learn stuff from a dope fiend. You can learn stuff from an old person. You can learn stuff from a child. You just gotta be willing to open your mind. And, you know, judging the messenger, a lot of you guys just miss it. And, and I can see it because you, 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 you're you so caught up in virtual reality, video games, uh, you know, drugs, your mind's not even clear. You don't, you know, and you, you don't know what it is to think with your own thoughts. Everything you've been taught, you just take it. You don't question what you've been taught. I question everything. That's just me. I don't take for face value anything somebody has told me. I go look it up for myself. So, you know, if I do put something out there 
if I'm talking about the money system or if I'm talking about politics, if I'm talking about what's going on in the world, go look it up for yourself. Do your own research. But, you know, to sit there and just blindly accept what people tell you, uh, you know, through social media or through the news, you're a damn fool, man. So, hey, man, don't judge a messenger. Uh, like I said, man, uh, I learn every day by not judging a person by how they look because, you know, that person, you know, you might assume that they're homeless, but maybe they're not homeless. Maybe they just turn their, turn their back on the world. You know, maybe in their past life, they might have been somebody, you know, that's very important. They might still be somebody that's important. So be careful who you shit on, you know, because a lot of you guys shit on the wrong people. And you, you look up to all these other people because they got all these material things and those people are shit. You know, they're not really about anything and they would never, they don't care about anybody but themselves. So at the end of the day, man, stay positive, stay motivated. Big Kirk 916, holler about, at me about some life coaching motivation. You know, um, like I said, it, it's just for me, it's more about life and getting through. I'm not, I, you know, I'm not going to proclaim to make you some multi-millionaire or billionaire, nothing like that, man. But on your journey, I know you have questions. I have a lot of questions. So Together, maybe we can work out some answers. Big Herc 916.